99% of SAT takers get tricked by this question. No, they don't. So this question is asking us if the arcs have a radius of three, uh, these ones, by the way, what is the area of the shaded region? Now, the answer to this should be undefined because there is no shaded region, but I think it's safe to assume that they mean this area right here, that we can name A. So let's find A. All right, so we know that the radius of these arcs is three, so we can just mark this as three. And we know that this is a square because if all of these are three, then that means all of the edges of the square are going to be equal. Now, one edge of the square consists of two of the radiuses. So if they're both going to be three, then that means the full length of the square is going to be six. Now, we can find A by subtracting the area of these quarter circles from the total area of the whole square. So let's get the area of the square first. We can do that pretty easily just by squaring the side length, which is 6. So 6 squared is equal to 36. Let's circle that. That is the area of our square. Now we need to find the areas of these little quarter circles. Now, not only are these perfect quarter circles, but there are four of them. And as you could guess, um, four quarter circles make a full circle. And the area of a full circle is equal to, let's just name it C because we can't name it A again, is equal to pi times R squared. And we know from the question that the radius is 3. So we can just put that into the equation and say that the area of the full circle that these quarter circles make up is equal to pi times 3 squared. 3 squared is equal to 9. So this will be the area of all of these quarter circles combined. And before I said that you can subtract the area of these quarter circles from the area of the square to get your A, or the area in the middle. And we said that this is the area of our square. So to get the area of the middle, we'll do 36 minus 9 pi. And so the answer to this will be C.